Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm combining the 1 to 5 drill uh, with the diamond drill. Uh, the diamond drill is basically where I have the four cones set up and I'm moving between these four stations. Normally they'd be much further apart, but for the benefit of keeping everything within the camera, I've got everything a little bit more condensed right now. Um, so the 1 to 5 is basically you go to one station, you fire one shot, go to second station, you fire two shots, third station, three shots, fourth station, four shots, fifth station, five shots. Then you go to the next station, you start all over again, one sta you know, station one, one shot, and you just keep going like that. Uh, one of the things I like about you know, combining these two drills is, uh, number one, you're getting movement. Uh, number two, what you're getting out of it is you're, 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 you're also, um, you're changing your shot pattern. So you're not always doing, you know, double taps or you're not doing two to the chest one to the head um, you're doing a different pattern um, at every station so uh, it's one of those things that kind of gets you to think a little bit uh, another thing I've also done here is I've uh, um, you know some of the targets are that direction I got a target in this direction I got some targets off to the side over there uh, so so it's 306 degree drill the way I'm doing it uh, and the other thing I've got going on here is that I have some targets up close and I have some targets further away. I mean, I got some targets here that are going to be, you know, within, within, you know, let's say five yards. And I got, you know, some targets way back there that are 50 yards. And I got another one at 75 yards right now. Um, what that means is I basically, I, I got to use a different point of aim. Now, the nice thing is I'm using the hollow sun uh, with the ACS reticle. Um, and, you know, the way I'm using this, I'm using, it's actually helping me out a lot more at the closer distance. Because the this you know the, the way this rifle works is you got you know line of sights up here, bullets coming out down here. There's a basically a two and a half inch difference. At 50 yards, you know the two converge. Okay, at the closer distances you have that gap, so you have to offset. Because of that ACS reticle, what I'm doing is you know you got your chevron here, and then you got the three dots. Well, at the closer distances, what I'm doing is I'm using that bottom dot. So. You know, basically, if I was just using a plain red dot, if I was trying to get a shot here, I'd have to aim at the top of the scalp, okay? Um, so what I'm doing with, with, with this scope is I'm basically putting that last dot right where I want it to hit it, and it's getting pretty close, okay? Uh, so, you know, the ACS reticle uh, from Holosun has kind of grown on me. Um, I'm finding different ways to use it. Uh, if you have a circle dot, uh, it'll kind of work the same way. Basically, you put the bottom of the circle um, where you want it to hit at closer ranges, uh, the thing with the ACS reticle though is like if you if you if you're shooting through a tactical barricades where you got slits and different angles, if I'm if I'm turning the rifle sideways like this, you know that that because of the way it's set up, that arrow uh, with the three dots kind of lets me you know it, it kind of helps me orient the orient the uh, rifle a little bit better, so I don't have to worry about which way is up, which way is down. I'm just always using that bottom dot at closer distances. So let's start this drill out. That was the 50 yards, I got one hit out of two. So that's the idea of the drill, fun drill, get you moving, get you playing with different distances and figuring out where your point of aim, point of impact is, try it out, let me know how you guys like it. <laughs> 